Hey, hey, hey. All right, we got some people hanging now. Hey, Giovanni, what's going on? Giovanni Marco Nicolazzo says, some tips to improve touch. Okay, so Marco's asking about touch. Now, what does touch mean? We all know what touch means in life, but at the piano and in music, we're typically talking about not only the way that our hands and fingers interact with the instrument, but also the articulation and the sound that comes out of the instrument as a result of our touch. If somebody is said to have a good touch at the instrument, that typically means they have a good control of dynamics. They can touch the piano and play very quietly, or they could play very loud or <laughs> everything in between. What we wanna do is practice playing at each different dynamic level intentionally. And we also wanna practice finding the extremes of our dynamic range. How quiet can you play where the instrument still makes a sound. That alone is good practice. So start quiet, a little louder, a little louder. Once you can do that with both hands together, right? Whatever the volume is, whatever the dynamic, both hands are doing it. Once you can do that, try then splitting the hands. So try a quiet dynamic in the left hand and a loud dynamic in the right hand, for example. Okay, that was my loud right hand, quiet left hand. Let's see if we can switch that. Let's alternate. That's tricky. The idea is you want to have one hand ring out and the other one tucked back dynamically. And then can you switch them? Okay, so these are all exercises that are meant to challenge you, make you concentrate, and make you uh, intentionally work on one or two things at a time here. That's my suggestion for you to practice getting more consistent touch. The second part of it is a more practical use. You'll use that in pretty much every piano piece that you'll ever encounter. You're always going to want to have something that's being brought out dynamically and something that's being tucked back. Typically the melody is brought out, right? And the harmony is kind of tucked back. We don't want everything to always be the same volume. That's not the best example because it's not really a clear melody and harmony differentiation, but I think you get the point. Every piece of music you encounter at this instrument, you're gonna to need to bring something out and tuck something back. So it's great practice. That all has to do with touch. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Phil. Don't forget to hit subscribe and tap that notification bell. And be sure to check out the Playground Sessions interactive app. It was co-created by music legend Quincy Jones. Playground teaches the piano with interactive feedback and gaming features, all while using your favorite songs.